my question is, uh, for the sake of argument, um, would not the vastness of the universe um, increase the probability that the conditions for life, no matter what their cause be, would um, occur just one time in all the vastness of the universe? Okay, yeah, good yeah. question. Um, it's not just the vastness of the universe. It's the fact that this universe, regardless of how vast it is, has certain characteristics and certain laws of nature that if you were to alter any one of them just imperceptibly, there would be no universe, the universe would have collapsed back on itself, or there'd be a universe that couldn't support life. Mm -hmm. And so what some scientists have suggested in recent years is there are multiple universes out there. In order to avoid the implication of design, they're going to say if there's a number of universes out there, billions of them, then maybe one of them is going to have these conditions by chance. There's a number of problems with this called the, the multiverse theory. Uh, one of the problems is there's no evidence for it. It's pure speculation. We can't observe these other universes. Second problem with it is that uh, it would seem that if these other universes are out there, they would need to be created too. So you don't seem to get rid of the need for a creator. You multiply the need for a creator, right? So, and there's many other problems as well with the theory. Uh, so that's what they've tried to do to avoid the implications of design. But no, this one universe is so precisely tweaked that secular scientists are going to these extreme measures to avoid the obvious implication that it's designed.